Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about works as advertised. All companies, well most companies, publish performance data. There's all kinds of data out there. You get absorption coefficients, diffusion uh, response curves, but the average person can't look at that data and decide what's appropriate for their room because of a lot of issues. So there's all kinds of test data, but the understanding comes in the application of that data to your problem. So the first thing we have to do is identify your problem, right? We have to figure out what the goal is, the design goal and the strategy that we're gonna use in your room. And part of that, a large part of that strategy and design goal is to identify the problems. That's why we offer that 15 minute free analysis of your room, filling out the room form and sending it in and then calling us at a scheduled time. It's to identify the problem and prescribe the solution, problem solution. And that helps fill in this gap, this application gap, if you will, from all these absorption data points, diffusion data points, et cetera, et cetera. So we try to bridge that link between problem solution, problem performance solution. So you gotta have the performance to identify the problem and then apply it correctly, right? So you have to apply the data to the strategy, performance to the strategy, that's the key. That's what we have to do. And some of this stuff, if you look at their performance, you wouldn't want to apply it to anything. So now I know that because we're in the business and we understand the power of the data and how to apply it. Most of the technologies we see in the marketplace in terms of absorption, you could fill the whole room with it and still not treat the problem, still not support your strategy. So you got to know what you're doing out there. And that's why we have this, you know, application with our room form to help people uh, do that. I mean, look at the foam curves comparing our two largest competitors with our product. Why would you treat a middle and high frequency issue with a product that has peaks and dips like that? Why would you treat a problem with another problem. See, so if you don't know how to interpret the data, I mean, that data is a little obvious. Some are a little bit more subtle. But why would you treat a middle and high frequency problem in your room with something that has huge peaks and dips in its response? Look at how smooth ours is. Ours goes like this. That's what you want. Predictable and consistent. Not this. Not this, you want this. That's why I designed it. That curve took 8 million, 8 million, I hope not. Eight years and $2 million to create. Let's don't get crazy with costs here. I probably would have spent that anyway, but hopefully we didn't have to. So spatial irregularities we can't use to treat. Low frequency, when you look at data for low frequency, look at rate and level because that has an impact on the attack and the decay in your room that you're going to use. So you have to know how to do that. Surface area coverage. We constantly see not enough treatment, the wrong type and in the wrong place. Tells me every day that people just have no idea what they're doing when it comes to this stuff. So once again, our room form. Try to help you bridge that gap between performance and application. Room pressure level, how much energy are you going to put in the room? That determines how much treatment you need, how much surface area coverage you need, rate and level of absorption. It all has to be calculated. Remember, every dimension in your room, the width, the height, and the length, produces a different problem, a different frequency, a different amplitude, strength. So you got to know what you're doing. There's no one treatment that fits all. Broadband absorption can be used throughout the room then you have to increase it in certain locations, depending on the frequency and amplitude of the issues, right? 
Our carbon and foam performance are second to none. You won't find any technologies in the marketplace. I know because I bought and tested all those before I created our technologies. Our foam and carbon is predictable and consistent. You just can't beat it. And then our CAW is quite honestly off the scale good because there you turn the whole wall, the whole room into a tuned absorber, a tuned frequency specific absorber. Because when you put it between a 14 and a half inch stud, you're tuning that room every 14 and a half inches, floor to ceiling, all the way around. Nothing can get away from you. No 30 hertz, no 40 hertz, no 50 hertz mode can get away because we know where the location in the room is and we know how strong it is and we know the frequency. So we can increase the thickness of the filter, the carbon, increase the rate. We've got a big 30 hertz problem at a certain wall location. We make our filter thicker to go after that. And that's our CAW process. And no one has that process at all. Everybody says put put units in the room and hang them on the wall. Okay, that's an option. We do that too. But the best performance parameter is to turn the whole room into an absorber. Works as advertised. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.